These are some hype times for the Pokemon anime. Yo, what's up everyone? Trayman one here and Pocket Monsters just threw us the most exciting trailer thus far. Like, this seems like New Year's preview type of quality trailer right here. Like, oh my goodness, I did not expect this at all. Like, you know, this appeared at the end of episode 20. You know, episode 20 was just, you know, a regular episode. There was no indication of this preview and I gotta say... This preview left me hype. Let's go ahead and get into all the exciting new content that's coming in the anime. The first thing I want to talk about before the preview is the updated ending song. Look who's there. Look who that is. That's our boy Dust Form Like Rock. My profile picture himself. Is he coming back? We see him with Grookey and the Egg. I think this is indicating that Ashes Like Rock's coming back when he goes to the Alola region, which has me super excited for the upcoming Alola episodes. This is the only bit of continuity that we get, though. In the preview, in the preview, all right, just wait, just wait. I'm going to get into it. The preview starts off with Leon in the Galar Stadium, you know, shouting and cheering. And a certain character actually appears. We see coming from the other end is our boy Rayhan. And as we know, you know, Rayhan is a fan favorite from the Pokemon games. And I'm just super excited to see Rayhan versus Leon. And I hope that Ash actually fights Rayhan. Like, it seems Rayhan is actually a part of the Masters 8 which I think what they're going to be doing is throughout the series, Leon is going to fight members of the Masters 8. So he fought Lance, he's fighting Rayhan, and there's, you know, five other characters that we actually get to see. Here's the most exciting part as well. Ash is finally getting a Galar Pokemon, and it is Sobble. In the preview, we see Sobble crying and turning around looking at the camera, and Ash is like, you know, why don't you come with me? So Ash is getting a Sobble, guys. Like, get hyped. Sobble was not the Pokemon in the egg, but Ash will get a Sobble when he returns to the Galar region. So the question is, who will get Grookey? I don't really see Grookey fitting Kaharu, but if she has to get Grookey, then I'll be down, to be honest. Or Ash could possibly get two starters. We just have to wait and see. The next scene we see is Riolu opening his eyes, and what I believe this is is Riolu hatching from the egg, the 10-kilometer egg in the upcoming episode. And I'll explain that a little more later. Following that, we then get to see a more Pico eating some chips. And this kind of confirms my theory of what I said in that, you know, upcoming episode where Ash and Go are trying to find out who stole all the food. It seems like this more Pico somehow gets into the lab and is eating all their food. Like, I was saying how more Pico had the pockets so it can, you know, stuff food in his pockets. Maybe Go may catch this more Pico, to be honest, because I don't really see Ash catching more Pico. And, no, we, we haven't seen the... Pikachu clone of the series, yeah, so Go could easily catch this thing. We then get to see some beauty fly flying through the sky, which I believe is from the episode Farewell Reboot. Because even in the scenes after this, we get to see Ash and Go looking up at the beauty fly. And the scene focuses on Reboot looking up at the beauty fly. Also, the following scene is very interesting. We see Go and Reboot in the rain, and like, you know, Go is telling Reboot to use an attack. I'm not sure what's going on here. Like, in my opinion, it doesn't really look like Reboot will actually leave a lot of people made the theory that farewell reboot could mean that reboot is evolving in the cinderace but i don't really think that this is going to be the episode that evolves it could be but i have a theory considering the fact that reboot evolved in episode 17 some people don't count pocket monsters episode one the pichu episode as the first episode so technically to some people it evolved in episode 16 and if that's the case it could evolve all the way into Sco uh reboot i mean not reboot cinderace in episode 35 or 36, depending on, you know, if you count the first episode or not. And that could be, you know, the size of, you know, since episode 16 could represent level 16, episode 35 and 36 could represent level 35 and 36. So, that I can see them trying to do that, but we'll just have to wait and see. And now, everyone, we get to the most hype part of the trailer. The part of continuity. Ash is using Gengar in a fight, and we get to hear a specific voice. And that trainer is none other than Karina. Yes, Karina from the X and Y anime is appearing in the series and is battling Ash. And I was like, yo, I freaked out because, you know, this series, we've been wondering what's going on with the continuity. Lance was appearing. We we're like, oh, I hope Ash meets Lance. That didn't happen. Ash went to, like, the gym the, in Johto region. The Johto gym wasn't, leader wasn't there. He went to, you know, we did get some continuity with... Uh, with Lieutenant Surge, it's just Lieutenant Surge wasn't there, so we're like, ah, don't tell me they're not going to see any of the old gym leaders. But here, 
Karina is battling Ash. And thanks to Ash and Serena on Twitter, she actually gave us some translations, which says this. Karina says, I knew it, Ash. The battle with you will be exciting. And Ash is like, let me see your full power. And interesting enough, Karina's doing the same poses that she did in the first Ash versus Karina. Well, not the very first one, but the gym battle between Ash and Karina where she's mega involving Lucario. And people have put these scenes side by side and it's an exact replica. Like, this is amazing that the animators were able to redo the scene in the new art style. And it's just so pumping because Karina, like, Karina was one of my favorite gym leaders from X and Y. Ash versus Karina, I have to say, was the best gym battle in the whole X and Y anime. I love the Pikachu finally beating the Lucario. It was just an amazing battle to this day. Even in my overview of that episode. Wait, did I review? Actually, no, I didn't review the episode, but... In my top five X and Y episodes, I even talk about this episode. I think it's number one. So, yeah, you know I'm really pumped to see Karina return. And from the preview, it seems to be a 2v2 because there's one scene where, you know, Gengar's in battle. And then there's another scene where we see Pikachu using Iron Tail and Thunderbolt. Which, if I have to assume, it will be probably Gengar versus Mean Fu or Machamp. Gengar ends up losing. And then Pikachu takes out the Mean Fu and Machamp and fights Mega Lucario one more time. And also, they're fighting in the Galar Stadium. So this seems to be a world championship battle, which is pretty interesting, but I wonder if this is like a tournament now, because remember Ash was in the top 10,000, the Pokeball rank, and you know, he just had to fight trainers in rank battles. Maybe at this point he's in the Great Ball rank, and maybe the Great Ball rank forward is tournament, so maybe this may be the first tournament that he's entering, and his first opponent is none other than Karina. Also, we get a screen of the Masters 8, and we get to see Rayhan, Lance, and Leon are part of the Masters 8. And the five other trainers, Cynthia has to be here. Cynthia has to be on this list. If anything, I can see, you know, if they are going to show Leon fighting each of the Masters 8 and destroying them, I can see Cynthia possibly being the final one that Leon fights because Cynthia is, you know, this really powerful, strong champion that everyone, you know, knows about. She was the original strongest until Leon came around, so it's going to be interesting to see it's Leon versus Cynthia. And if Leon beats Cynthia, that's going to, you know put Ash on some high stakes. Also, I'm glad that Karina's going to be the one to show off Mega Evolution in this series. Like, I had a feeling if they were going to show off Mega Evolution, which they will, it had to be, like, through Karina because she's the, in the game, like, the Mega Evolution trainer, the one that, you know, gives us our Mega Stone and everything like that. Also, this leads questions. Will Ash actually get a Mega Ring and be able to evolve, make it evolve his Gengar and Lucario in the future. Like, that's something interesting that I've been thinking about. I remember in the Riolu video, I was saying it would be cool if Ash got a, actually got a Mega Ring finally and gets Mega Lucario. But, because seeing this, it, it could be possible if Ash meets Karina. She may give him a gift. And the last few scenes of this preview are kind of like a basically mass show of what's going to happen next. We get to see the egg hatching. And, of course, it's going to be Riolu, guys. Riolu is confirmed to hatch from the egg. We get this nice shot of Rayhan Gigantamaxing, I believe, Duralagon, because there's another scene where Charizard is Gigantamaxing, and we get to see a Duralagon there. So, looks like Ash may actually fight Rayhan later on in the series, which is going to be extremely hype. We get to see Galarian Farfetch, which is pretty interesting as well, because Go just caught a regular Farfetch. And I remember Go saying, you know, Farfetch can't evolve. So, it'll be interesting to see here if Go actually catches both Galarian and Cantonian Farfetch. I'm not sure. I thought he was just going to catch the Galarian one, you know, just so he can learn that about it evolving. It would also be interesting if Ash actually catches this Farfetch too. Like, this Farfetch has to have some importance. This scene got me extremely hyped because I didn't think Sonya was going to appear in this series. Considering how the series was going, we weren't really focused in Galar. But she's here. Sonya, greatness herself, is appearing in the anime. I'm super excited for me, like this, this scene because, you know, it just looks amazing. It's like... I can see Ash and Go are like amazed at Sonya. I don't know what's happening here. But I'm super excited to see Sonya in the anime. I can't wait to see, you know, what's her goal and, you know, what her story going to be. Because I feel like she will have a bit more importance than, you know, the other characters, basically. Following that, we see a whole bunch of Slowpoke. And I actually believe that this scene isn't correct. What I mean by that is, you know, there's the new Galarian Slowpoke out now. And in the first trailer, we get to see Pikachu fighting Score Bunny, but Score Bunny was like fully colored in, colored in and stuff. But then in the actual episode, Score Bunny was like grayed out to hide from, like basically to hide himself. So I can see in the actual episode, these Slowpoke will have like the yellow on top of his head to represent that they actually are Galarian Slowpokes. And we get to learn about Galarian Slowpoke 
and Slow King and Slow Bro. The final scene is Ash and Gold looking at each other with determination. Like, oh yeah, this they, they, they even they're hyped for these upcoming episodes. Like, Cause look at look at their faces. Ash is like, oh yeah, these episodes are about to be amazing, man. But oh my goodness, so much went down in just this one minute preview, and I loved each and every single moment of it. I was literally jumping for joy after watching this preview. Karina truly is a beacon of hope for the continuity in the future of this series. Like, you just don't understand. Because in the series, we were so confused about continuity. Like, even with Lieutenant Surge, that was a ho- beacon of hope because, you know, we actually get to see the Ash fought Lieutenant Surge in the gym battle. It's just, the thing is, they didn't really show Surge, which had me thinking, oh, we weren't going to see any old characters, or not too many. Like, they weren't going to interact with Ash. But seeing that Ash is fighting Karina gives me hope that we'll see Paul, Ash finally beating Alon, Greninja, you know, freaking Gladion again. It's so hype. I'm super excited to see what's going to happen for the rest of the series now. Like, the first 20 episodes was a build-up. The next 20, we're getting into the big action and everything like that. And I'm super excited. We get to see Ashes, two more Ashes Pokemon, Riolu and Sabu. Who else will he be catching? I definitely think he's going to get more than, you know, the average team of six in the series as well. And he'll do rotation. But in the comment section down below, let me know what y'all thought of this preview. What are y'all most hyped for from this preview? My boy Ligerox coming back, and I'm super excited for the Alola and Kalos episodes. What is going to happen? Thank you all for watching, and I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Trayman1, peace out.